you, Governor. Brennan Leslie, Florida's conservative voice. So I got two questions for you. The first one, your opposition, both Democrats and some of the media have uh, politicized this treatment and it's kind of send a, a fake narrative out to the people out there that need this treatment. Uh, how wrong are they about that and what is the impact of that on our community? So it's sad that with, with, with COVID from really the very beginning, uh, it's been politicized, uh, particularly by a lot of national corporate media outlets, and, and it's got to stop. So this monoclonal, this is not anything that I dreamt up. This is something that got an emergency use authorization. Uh, it was given, heck, when in the experimental phase, it was given to the President of the United States when he had, when he had COVID. Um, it's been used. The trial data is good. People have had great experiences with it, and we saw that this was being underutilized. You know, we saw that there were patients, most of these patients going in, most of them were not vaccinated, um, but at the same time, it's like, okay, if you're infected, what do you do? Uh, and so if they had no better knowledge of this, a lot of them would have availed themselves of this. And so there was a, a thought out there uh, by some that, oh, this is going to cost you a lot of money or this is just for some, you know, they were talking about, oh, trying to help Regeneron, the, like the, the profit. They've already sold all this. There's no uh, uh, anything that's happening. So fake narratives, I think, are very harmful. Uh, it can potentially convince some people. That, uh, that this is not a viable option. Again, no one's forced to do this. It's your choice. You've got to make the best decisions for you. Uh, but if you do find yourself you know, with COVID, uh, what are the options to be able to do? And the fact is, this was underutilized. You know, even Fauci said it was underutilized. He acknowledged that. And so uh, that's what the name of the game is, helping people. It does have a track record of doing it. You know, as Dr. Shepke said, you know, we have a woman who was in really bad shape in Jacksonville. She got it within 48 hours. She was feeling better and said she wouldn't have made it um, if, if it wasn't for that. So I would hate to see politicization of, of, of a treatment end up dissuading somebody from kind of from seeking avail themselves of something that could help them. It could help keep them out of the hospital, it could even help save their life. Uh, so don't be that guy. Uh, that lets your partisan agenda overcome uh, providing good, accurate information and providing uh, access to treatments for people who may need it. And uh, hopefully we're, we're beyond some of those games, but I can tell you, um, you know, this has made a difference for people. It has made a difference the whole time, but now there's a much broader segment of society that understands this is available. You know, I would talk to people who are very, very well-versed in a lot of stuff with COVID, they had no idea what the monoclonals were. And, and then when I started, we talked to the hospital, say, hey, the people that are being admitted, how many of them got this treatment? They're like 90 plus percent didn't, never got it. And so we thought, thinking to ourselves, okay, this can really uh, make a difference. And so, so please, um, it's, a, it's a strong track record. It's been, uh, it's been endorsed by uh, the mo two most recent presidential administrations, doctors all across. Florida and the country have used it and used it very effectively. And that's the 